Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lily of Nigeria. Today I'm taking you through things to pack when coming to the UK to study as an international student. Um, we're focusing on hair today because this is my most requested video from all the comments and my interactions with you guys. I promised that I was going to do this video just to show you like what I did and how I'm coping with my hair here in the UK. I know that as a woman of color, a black woman, this can be a bit challenging because you are either transitioning natural or relaxed or somewhere in between all the <laughs> major categories. So today, um, I'm going to be showing you things that I packed when I was coming or rather I'm going to tell you things that I packed when I was coming because I am done with some of the products that I came with and um, I had to buy some new ones here so I'll just like walk you through it. <laughs> Welcome to the video guys. So if you have watched my previous video, I'm going to leave the link somewhere um, on top and then you can still watch that video. That video is packed with a lot of information and um, you can also check out the second one as well. That's like the second video in this series of um, my guide to you as an international student coming to the UK to study. The first thing I'm going to tell you as a reminder, because I already said it in my previous video is come with your wigs you know come with your wigs come with your attachment come with um, <laughs> anything that you know you can use to care for your hair whatever it is i came with my crochet um, pin i came with my um, wigs i'm not really too keen on like um, certain types of wigs but i came with my braided wigs you can get them if you're living in lagos or any part of nigeria you can always buy your braided wigs they are very affordable back home because a lot of people now know how to do them even i know how to do braided wigs but if you are not a hair enthusiast like myself just go and buy it i think um, it ranges from 13 to 21,000 naira but depending on which type you know your level or maybe you can never um, compare areas where you buy wigs with their prices like if you're buying a wig from a certain part of Lagos it might be more expensive than if you're buying it from a certain part of Lagos regardless it's still the same um, quality of expression they are using or darling attachment or um, the same wig material as well the same wig cap so if you are not on a budget you can as well become an Oma Baba Olowo and spend your money too. <laughs> I bought mine for 12 or 13,000 Naira but then I found a lady in Ikoi that sells hers for 10,000 Naira and um, if you are interested in her contacts just let me know in the comment section and then I will um, tell you how you can contact her if you are interested um, I came with this wig when I was coming to the UK. I did not buy it like this. I actually made it. I bought the attachment at um, Yaba Market and then I got it made there for me. So this particular wig is um, inspired by Tokema Kinwa and I saw her ponytail. I fell in love with that ponytail. Like I still have that picture on my phone. She looked like an absolute babe in that picture. I was like, I have to have this. So I took the picture to the market, to Yaba market, the one at Teju Osho, Mm -hmm. just, the one just by Teju Osho Railway, you know, there are a lot of people there that braid hair and do nails and wigs and whatnot. So I just went there. There's this mama and her assistant that was so helpful to me. So I showed them the picture and immediately they were like, you need this attachment. This is um, this is Darlene attachment because Toke was actually paid by Darlene um, Nigeria to... Um, to, to take that picture of that ponytail so I went to um, a darling 
wholesaler and I bought the attachment. They told me, the mama and her assistant told me about the attachment, the particular one to buy. In fact, they even came with me to the wholesaler. So I bought the attachment and then they told me that you, um, there's no way I could have used that attachment to do the ponytail because it's just like, uh, it was just like a normal weave on kind of thing. So she actually, the mama and her assistant did the wig for me. This is what it looks like. They just made it into a wig ponytail and everything the wig the attachment and the wig making label everything cost me like one the no the attachment was i think 800 naira or was it 1000 i can't remember now but it was no more than 1000 naira and you just need one pack and then um, it's really full then the label cost me 1200 so yeah everything was no more than <laughs> was no more than 3500 and i've been rocking this i'm going to put pictures up just so you see how it looks it is lovely another thing is knowing how to care for your wigs even though you're not a hair enthusiast like myself you should learn how to care for your wigs when you um, are coming here you, you can just go to your local neighborhood um, hairdresser and ask her how to care for your wigs this thing i have not rubbed anything on it i haven't applied any um any funny oils or any whatnot to it i just let it be you know and um, i comb it gently and i put it back inside the container I don't want to say come come now <laughs> but that's what it is so this you can still see it's still here this is the pack that it, um the attach came with so that's um how i just um pack it Af when i'm done with it after like a day of enjoying myself my friends and i have gotten a lot of reviews uh, from this attachment it's not my hair <laughs> if you are asking maybe you're asking as you're watching it is not but it looks like it because it's like high quality go to a darling dealer don't buy roadside own that will disgrace you <laughs> okay yeah let me just put this back so that it doesn't start tangling and then um start having like issues yeah so now it's back in its casing and the second one is actually the second wig is you see it's still it's still inside its casing that's like the secret guys so that you don't and comb it comb your wigs from time to time you must not apply funny oils or serums or whatnot on it just know the particular one that suits the particular hair this one chai is my hair this one is my hair <laughs> <laughs> yeah this i don't know if you people have seen it but uh hopefully you can share it's actually a, um a fringe it has a fringe in front and then yeah but these are my wigs these are the two wigs my braided wig i currently have it on so you can see it <laughs> and um i made this one by myself this is also let me just state it here that this video is in no way sponsored by darling i just i was inspired by talking then i went to their page and i saw a lot of hairstyles that i really liked and i decided to um go for the particular ones that i really really liked so again the mama and her assistant because they were the ones who made my hair for me before i came to the uk to study um, so um, they they just helped me with everything that I needed and they they were like a guide to me like this is what you, sh you, you need to get for this particular hairstyle that you really like so I made this one I bought the um, darling attachment this is the darling attachment you need for the crochet yeah I don't know if you can see it but this is what it is it has a lot of like ribbons and so on inside it so I used, I bought two packs and then I used one pack to make this one. So this is the, I, actually a YouTube video <laughs> taught me how to make this particular one. So I didn't make it from Nigeria before coming to the UK to study. So um, I made this one here in my room and it needs a lot of patience to make. Shout out to all my girls on YouTube who make their own wigs like Dilto. Who watches Dilto's videos? 
that girl is amazing she's studying in canada by the way you should check out her video and her channel she's a nice person so this is um the the week this is like a human hair ponytail so um yeah just attach it so it does not have the whole serere of the other like proper ponytail um token marking one inspired one but this one is like this is this if you're a natural girl this will help you okay i think that's all that's all so um for hair i i know how to braid hair i told you i'm a hair enthusiast so i make my own hair i like make them in cornrows um if you want to know about my hair care routine in particular just let me know in the comment section i'll be more than glad to guide you through the weather here is not like nigerian weather you need to care for your hair like all these youtubers that you see talking about um different methods like uh, moisturizing um <laughs> cream oil method this that 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 da, da. it's because of the weather here in the uk or like in the overseas <laughs> yeah the weather here will humble you if you don't care for your hair in nigeria like because the weather is a bit humid and it's hot in nigeria i don't need to do too much to your hair but here the weather is it's cold it can be dry <laughs> just picture like hamatan 5.0 on your hair welcome to the uk as you're coming to study <laughs> so you need to like learn how to moisturize your hair you need to learn how to like cream it how to use oils to lock moisture in like if not your hair will break <laughs> that's just the truth and depending on the um, part of the uk you are actually schooling in as an international student you will find that um, the water there varies like the quality of the water you have to do your own research on the particular place you are going to but where i live the house i live the landlord oh god bless this man like the water here is okay the water is properly treated the showers have like filters so i didn't go through the whole like crying thing that you know the water broke like there are girls here in the uk if you ask them the water dealt with them so just find out um where you are going to study and then what the water is like there you might need to get like a um, shower filter for yourself if you don't want to do that one your pocket shower. anyway um another thing is that when i got to the uk here i noticed that coconut oil uh, because everybody goes about how good coconut oil is, how, how nice it is on their hair, how it grows their hair. Man, coconut oil broke my hair. Like I was crying in the shower watching my hair go. Coconut oil dried my hair. It broke it. It was too much. I did my research. I googled um, some of the things, that the symptoms I was seeing on my hair and so on. That. And then I found out that a lot of girls actually have that, um, that thing with coconut oil. So coconut oil is not a one size fits all. It might be good on hair it might not be good on the next girl's hair it was not good on my hair so i stopped it i don't use coconut oil anymore i don't even use any of these they are funny oils that bloggers and youtubers recommend do your research don't apply anything on your hair even the things i'm going to show you next do your own research first please another thing is the rice water when you come here you'll be hearing people rice water rice rice water is not good for everybody's hair because of what coconut oil did to my hair i've not even tried rice water because it might be good on me it might not be good i don't know i'm just too scared some people are actually protein sensitive some people have um different textures of hair so all these things you will hear when you come to the uk to study are not a one size fits all please pick your battles <laughs> now so um i did not come here with any of the um hair creams and all those things that i usually apply because um i had my hair in a watermelon twist out when i came so it was just mainly caring for my roots which i later found out that the oil i was using was not good then the leave-in conditioner that i came with from mamiya organics i think it should be somewhere in my cabinet if any of you want it when you come to the UK, just like holler at me. I might send it to you, who knows? If it's good on your hair. <laughs> it wasn't good on my hair, so I just left it there. I had to go out. Um, the living conditioner I brought um, was good on my scalp, but it had a very irritating um, smell. So I stopped using it. And um, I now use this. This is the product that I used. It's from African Pride. 
please do your research don't just go out and buy it because you see me um, reviewing it on this video this is what it looks like inside it's white it has like a creamy consistency this is what i use for my hair care routine i use this for my hair care routine i've told you if you want my hair care routine let me know in the comment section i got it for four pound 99 so it's um, four pound 99 so it's like um almost five pounds i bought it in london because here in swansea no african shop that i've seen no that sells all these hair care products and so on so you might need to buy them in london or in nigeria before coming and then um, this is the second one i tried actually the first one that's the second one because this one is actually empty i used it to finishing this product i later found out it's not good on my scalp and my hair and um, it has something in it that grows other people's hair and does really want wonderful things for them but <laughs> it did not work for me it broke my hair this was actually one of the problems i faced when i came here this thing gave me dandruff end of story but the company share my shot they are really doing a lot for the black community and their products are really really good for most black people that i have seen it's not good for me it might not be good for you too do your own research do your research most of these youtubers and bloggers you see some people use money to bias them so we're not going to tread those waters now i've just told you do your research before you apply anything on your hair i was carried away don't be carried away like me please this thing gave me dandruff but the reason why you see it empty like this I bought this thing for like almost eight pounds i was like there is no way i will not use this thing finish <laughs> no way i went and bought anti dandruff <laughs> i was like eh my money will just go like that who will i dash this thing to like <laughs> the person i'm even giving it to might not be good for her to unless she, she might now be thinking mm, this person gave me something i gave me dandruff i used my thing and i made value for my money until it finished that's that the other one that i use now i don't use too much things on my hair if you're on my snapchat you'd have seen my hair i i braid it in cornrows i do twist outs all by myself my major tip in this video i will tell you do your research learn how to make your own hair in nigeria before you come here to study in the uk or wherever you are in the world learn how to make your own hair before you come to study here anyway this is the um, third product that i use i bought it from amazon i'm going to leave the link in the description in case you're interested this is yes this is hair grease ever since i started using this thing my hair has been growing like elephant grass like it's growing it's growing <laughs> it's growing very well i don't use any of those oils that everybody uses anymore castor oil jamaica blah, blah blah but first please do your research do your research there are a lot of girls on youtube that swear by hair grease but the particular hair grease i might be using might not be good for you the one you're using might not be good for me so do your research first this one is from blue magic it's the indian hemp it's affordable and it's very good it works i'll leave the description below so check it that's the video for you guys thank you so much for watching my channel please subscribe if you haven't subscribed at this point give this video a thumbs up like it share it with your family and friends you might know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that is coming to the uk to study please this video is going to be helpful to them help me reach my goal of 500 subscribers please subscribe 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 please thank you <laughs> Bye guys, we didn't do our channel dance. Let's do it now as we're ending the video. Bye. This shirt is one of the shirts that I reviewed in my previous video. I'm going to leave the link above so you can check it out. And um, this is the honey shirt that I showed you in the unboxing video, the fashion haul video from Femlux. See you in my next video, guys. Next Friday. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.